I've, I've always, uh, originally when I was teens, up to that 18, I always fancied being in a band. Had a, good, had a bit of a bash at it, didn't work out, gave up. <laughs> Started playing the bass uh, um, to be in a band, never worked out, didn't learn it, gave up. Um, and I never really came back to music till I was in my mid 40s, really. Uh, I'm in my mid 50s. Drew you back now. then, eventually? Well, I did eventually, yeah. I, uh, I, uh, I uh, came, well, for, for, for background, obviously, my, my father was into classical music and into country, and that was about, country was about the only thing I could stand to listen that he, that he played. Uh, uh, so I was, I was quite, so I've always been drawn, drawn to, to, to country, but uh, yeah, going back to the teens, and one thing that um, more, more interested in, in um, what's this? I like storytelling. Mm -hmm. songs that tell stories Folk. so yeah. songwriters that Country. tell stories so yeah uh yeah in you know yeah. up to 18 19 year old meatloaf yeah stories tell the songs was, tell the uh, story it was, christa it burr for his generation christa though. burr christa as well burg, yeah christa burg is a tell good stories yeah, yeah, tell um, story, uh, yeah so i was always sort of in, interested in that but then of course 80s was my era mm -hmm. uh, i was born in the 60s the mid 60s so 80s was my era as a teenager. Big hair, bangles, so, but, and all uh, that malarkey. Oh, no, we, we, no, we, no, 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 like no. You do look like a man who would have big hair and bangles. <laughs> I, to I would have liked to have been a new romantic, but <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I was never going to have a bash at that. If but, you were uh, living on a farm, I don't but, think there's any way uh, your parents would have allowed you to be a new romantic. Probably not. No, no. Fuck that. He's not being. If I'd come home looking like a goth with tattoos, I think I'd have been kicked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You stay on this farm. Or severely beaten anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was going to ask your is your earliest like memories of music listen, with your dad then you know for listening to country oh, there, there would be originally and then and, and obviously until we got into the 80s and then I, I, I still say the 80s were an era of 10 10 or 12 years of some of the best music that's I ever been see, made I just I can't you disagree know, with you more yeah. I, it's my least favourite period of music but uh, it, it was a mixture of all your old stars your Elton John's coming up and doing mm. stuff uh, your new stuff coming up um, I'm a big OMD fan Oh, was it Orchestral oh, so, Maneuvers yeah. in the Dark? Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. They played the Barbican two years or three years ago. What, what's yeah. one of the most uh, popular uh, songs? Souvenir, uh, Joan of Arc. Finally, Joan of Arc, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so what I, would, what I would say about eight, the 80s is that it's my least favourite era of music, but, mm. with the caveat, I feel in the 80s there were some absolute bangers mm. and there was a lot of shit to go with it. Mm. Whereas the nineties for the me, synth pop mm. see, when the nineties for me is just bang off. But I think it's just what you grew up with, because mm. yeah. I, I only you know I don't hear that much eighties. So mm. I, didn't, cause like, I was in eighty five. My mum was always into older stuff. Yeah, my dad mm. just liked John Denver. That was pretty much it. <laughs> uh, that was, <laughs> Nothing wrong with John was, Denver. <laughs> that was his musical <laughs> influence on me, mm. zilch. Mm. And um, <laughs> but yeah, so I think just the era you grew up in. There are, I mean, looking back now, there are some bangers in the eighties. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I love the Cure. I love um, mm. Smiths. You know. I well, that was sort of a, probably a bit of a hangover from the seventies as well because I I, yeah. I, I love Status Quo. Uh, they were it's a big band. Them. Status Quo and Queen. Um, Queen of Great. Yeah. Which my claim to fame is that I did see Queen play with Freddie Mercury when I was. I'd have been 18, 19 that, at Newcastle. Is that a claim to fame if you just watched well, them? Well, no, 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 no. Uh, we went seen live went to see queen live yeah and everybody goes oh well you have to go see queen nowadays but it's not the same it's not freddie mercury queen no, was freddie mercury no, yeah so yeah. to to have been and seen status quo live followed by queen with freddie mercury as lead singer it, it, about it, how, what, what sort of year was that Can that be remember? oh grief you'd be looking 84 85 Something so something Queen about them, just yeah. about started because it was it wasn't until Live Aid that they just went boof through the roof, wasn't it? And that was they were quite, they, well, I think they were quite big. Before, no, they were they were big. They before. were fairly they were big, big but, in the seventies. But yeah, they really made a comeback. They really did. Come, they went away for a bit, then he yeah. left for a bit, didn't he? But, and yeah, and they, uh, he did a bit of solo stuff. But they, yeah, they, yeah. when they came back, yeah, certainly. But were, what um, a showman! What a yeah, showman! Yeah, I bet. Also, very good experience. Very good storytellers in their songs as well. Like, well, it's the same thing again. It's more it's abstract, it's but it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. Uh, my favorite Queen song is "Good Old Fashioned Lover Boy," and I just love yeah. it. Mm. But I love the I love the cheekiness of it. Like, only 
only like someone like Freddie could write a song because it's just yeah. If you read the lyrics and like you hum the melody, like, this is sickly sweet crap. But like, mm, you, hear, mm. you hear Queen do a private guitar, mm-hmm. like that's banging. Yeah, the, the amount of that layers that Freddie puts over the top. Of, I, well, mean, I, I, I do do fat bottom girls nice. now and again, not so much often. Really. You get a few dirty looks from the ladies because oh, it, really? it, well, it's a bit sexist, right? it, it, but it, it was of its time. I don't know all these songs are. I don't think it's sexist. I think it's, uh, yeah. isn't it, appreciating girls with flat bottoms? There well, go. there you go, but... Uh, yeah, let's, not get, let's not get into <laughs> No, no, let's not get into <laughs>